Hello, and welcome to our Medical Rx Transition and Resources Claim Submission and Finance Information. If you would like to follow along, you can download a PDF version of this presentation located in the course details. The agenda for today will include following topics. Medical Rx Transition Background, Medical Rx Claim Submission Options, Prior Authorizations, and Medical Rx Finance Portal Information. We will begin with providing the Medical Rx Transition Background. As of January 1st, Medical Rx will take over the pharmacy benefits for Medi-Cal. It includes pharmacy services that are built on pharmacy claim forms. So those are things like outpatient drugs, physician administered drugs, enteral formula, and certain medical supplies that are built on pharmacy claim forms. The publicly available features of the Medical Rx web portal include the following. A searchable Medical CDL is categorized by drug class containing dose, strength information, and coverage restriction. The CDL will be accessible on the Medical Rx provider portal by visiting the Forms and Information tab. A provider manual that includes essential information for understanding the medical program as it relates to Medicaid services. A pharmacy welcome packet and provider news and bulletins that will provide targeted pertinent news and information. It is important that providers enroll for the Medical Rx Secure Portal prior to January 1st. Features on the Secure Medical Rx web portal include the following. Prior authorization submission, submitting and managing pharmacy claims, beneficiary lookup tool, SAVA learning management system, and a secure message center or secure chat. Moving on to Medical Rx implementation. Diving into the training, let's talk about some of the options for claim submissions that pharmacy providers have. The main options for claim submissions are as follow. The web claim submission system located in the secure provider portal, provider's point of sale system, and paper claims via the 30-1 or 30-4 claim form. Please be advised, the original medical portal will no longer be an option after Medical Rx goes live to submit and view claims. Trainings for web claim submission are currently in development and once available will be announced via the subscription service and our bulletins. Enrollment for claims and other future trainings will be held within the Saba LMS platform and we once again advise to subscribe to our newsletter service to receive notification of upcoming trainings. Regarding Medical Rx payment information, we want to clarify that something that will not change is a process for the California Medicaid Management Information System, or CAMIS SCPI, SCPI, since it will not adjudicate pharmacy claims. Medical Rx will continue to provide HIPAA and will be compliant with EDI and with 835 electronic readmittance advice files. Medical Rx is putting a lot of effort into providing resources and offering additional assistance to our provider population to support the process of submitting claims. One of our main resources is our pharmacy service representatives. Medical Rx provides you with PSRs that can facilitate inquiries in your office, facility, or virtually as requested. PSRs can conduct one-on-one -on -one billing assistance at no cost to you. To request a meeting with one of our specialized PSRs, you can email your request and details to the Education Outreach mailbox at medicalrxeducationoutreach at magellanhealth.com. Going on to prior authorizations, also known as prior PAs. What was once known as TAR will now be known as PAs. For all PAs, MMA will utilize approved policies from the HCS and will review prior authorizations when medical necessity applies. Medical pharmacy policy is an integrated policy that incorporates federal and state guidelines, Food and Drug Administrator or FDI regulations, early periodic screening, diagnosis and treatment, and also includes the specific requirements for CCS, GHPP, family planning, access, care, and treatment for the FPACT, and other programs. Prior authorization submission options are available to prescribers and pharmacy providers that include the Medical Rx Secure Portal, Cover My Meds, Fax, and Mail. Options solely available to pharmacy providers include the National Council for Prescription Drug Programs or NCPDP transactions to use with their POS system. 
Pharmacy providers and prescribers that plan to use the Medical Rx Secure portal can reference the PA job aid on the education and outreach page of the provider portal. This slide provides information to submit prior authorizations through fax and mail. Please be reminded that there will be a new PA form in the Medical Rx portal starting on January 1st. By January 1st, a new prior authorization request form will also be available in the Medical Rx provider portal in the forms library. Appeals can be submitted via mail, fax, and the Medical Rx secure portal. Prescribers have 180 days to submit an appeal from the initial date of denial. MMA will send an appeal acknowledgement notification to the provider within one calendar day from their receipt of appeal. Medical Rx has 15 days to either approve or escalate the prior authorization appeal to DHCS. Appeals will have a 60 day turnaround. Now we will dive into the finance portal information, a section of our web portal. The finance portal is accessible by the secure portal and by having access to the full financial portal, you will be able to view EDI A35 files, annual 1099s, account receivable summary reports, and electronic funds transfer information. Delegated administrators can provide A35 file access to their standard users by assigning them the finance portal role within the UAC. To those who have access to the finance portal can obtain copies of the following, PDF versions of checks and RA images, EDI A35 files, annual 1099s, and account receivables. A35 PDF RAD summaries will be accessible in the finance portal. Online versions are available much quicker than paper RADs. Also, printed versions are adequate to submit a supporting documentation with a claims inquiry in any appeal form. To those who have EFT account information registered with Medi-Cal and did not complete an opt-out request will automatically be transitioned into the Medical Rx database. EFT account details will not be viewable at this time. Only new information or any modifications done at the Medical Rx Secure Finance Portal will be viewable after go live, which is January 1st. The new payer sheet is available in the provider portal in the forms and information section. The payer sheet includes details on claim submission fields and pharmacy claims requirements. Some important finance changes that will affect Medical Rx are the check right cycle, which will include claims adjudicated from Friday to Thursday timeframe, NCPDP codes will be used on RADs, a claim reference number will be automatically assigned during the claim processing. Medical Rx will use industry standard X12 EDI835 format and you will see an RAD layout. The most important message we want you to take from today is that the Medical Rx team is here to make this transition a smooth and easy process for all of you. Our pharmacy service representatives can provide you with office hours and one-on-one -on -one attention to your questions about anything related to Medical Rx, and you can email them at medicalrxeducationoutreach at magellanhealth.com. Also, our customer service center is currently available since November 1st of this year, 2021, 24 hours, seven days a week, 360 days a year, including holidays, to provide around the clock support. And to those who already register in the portal, there is a live chat and secure messaging features in the Medical Rx portal to also receive assistance. Our teams are here to answer questions and provide you with solutions. We wanna take this opportunity to extend the invitation to complete our readiness survey since your participation will really allow us to create material and trainings that are focused on your feedback. Lastly, if you want to receive our bulletins and news directly into your inbox, as well as any upcoming training information, we are providing the link for our Medical Rx subscription service. We are here providing some links to our previously mentioned resources for easy access. And on behalf of the Medical Rx team, we want to thank you for attending the Medical Rx transition and resources training.